Well, under Joey Barton, Fleet would have made a solid start to their league campaign and we're looking to push on from last season's mid-table finish. They're currently just one point off of the top six, so promotion, of course, is the aim for the club, which has had a creditable six promotions in 15 seasons. Oxford, meanwhile, they've struggled to get going so far, currently lying in 18th spot, but there was some respite in midweek when they beat Norwich under-21s in the league trophy with a much-changed side. Team news, Fleetwood making just three changes from last Saturday. Carl Dempsey makes the first start since October 18 and Wes Burns is fit to play and also Jimmy Dunn comes in. Oxford just making two changes. Fleetwood on the attack here. Could be a great chance perhaps, an opportunity. It is, it's a great shot. It's well, well saved by the keeper diving to his left-hand side. Simon Eastwood did very well indeed. The ball on the edge of the box, a left footer. Awkward for the keeper, but he manages to save and push it wide for a corner. Corner by Paul Coots. Bouncing around a little bit here. There could be a shot. There is. Comes in. And uh, Rossiter hits the post and it falls through to Paddy Madden. And his sixth strike of the season. That's the first goal of the game. Well taken by Paddy Madden. Can't seem to stop him from scoring. Good opportunist strike it was. The corner came in. It was half cleared by the Oxford defence. Stiff challenge there. Shot comes in, rebounds off of the post and a poacher's goal there for Paddy Madden. He scored in both games against Oxford last season. He certainly likes playing Oxford. Shot coming in there for the visitors. A missed volley there by Brannigan. Just going past the right hand upright. First real chance we've had to see Oxford come into the game. Outside the box, bit of an opportunist one, but uh, always going wide. Fleetwood looking to build on the advantage they've got here. Ball pushing through to the left side. Short ball coming in. Dempsey with a shot, but straight down the keeper's throat there. Good opportunist strike, saw there was a, an opening. Had a go, but unfortunately for him, couldn't get either side of the keeper. Fleetwood again, trying to make headway down this right-hand side. Louis Cole now looking to create something here. Tries to push the ball through. Shot coming in, just going over the bar there from Wes Burns. Left-footed shot. Always a dangerous one, a bit of a threat, and just goes over the bar. Oxford now trying to claw their way back into the game here. There's a 2-3 in the middle waiting for a, a possible cross. Still trying to apply some pressure here. Cross comes in. Heads go up, heads go in, and it's a goal. A great one there. Elliot Moore with the header, unmarked. Six yards out, and that's the equaliser. Bit against the runner play because Fleetwood... I've done all the pressing in this first half so far. Oxford saw an opportunity. Great cross, a deep one from the right-hand side. Elliot Moore totally unmarked, I'm sure. Joey Barton will have some questions to ask his defenders there. No one even challenged him. 1-1, game on here. Oxford now have the tails up with that equaliser, looking to try to claw their way back into the game here in terms of trying to get an advantage. Chris Cadden, deep cross here, and oh, that really should have been 2 1 to Oxford. Low, low cross coming in from uh, Kyle Cadden, and really that should have been 2 1 Oxford. Oxford trying to uh, have another chance here, a long hoof upfield, but uh, unable to get it with any of the. Oxford forwards and Fleetwood try to come away with it down this near side. Josh Morris always a threat. Low cross in and total confusion at the back of the Oxford defence there. Two, three players trying to clear and the goalkeeper Simon Eastwood didn't really know what he was doing there. What was going on at the back there? Low, low cross. It seemed harmless enough. But uh, in saying that, Fleetwood were unable to capitalise.
possible chance here. Cross coming in and a uh, low shot eventually saved by the Oxford keeper there. Simon Eastwood doing very well indeed. Fleetwood unbeaten in their last nine home league games, but just one win in the last six in all competitions. Long ball upfield there and uh, the goalkeeper there. Oh, he's dropped it and what on earth was going on there? Matthew Jilks, he seemed to have the ball and just let it slip and eventually he was helped out by his defenders. Fleetwood now trying to launch yet another attack. It seems pretty much one-way traffic here at the moment. Josh Morris, always a live wire, pushing the ball in through to Dempsey. Dempsey takes on one play, takes on two, tries his luck and just goes past the left hand upright. Having a terrific game, Kyle Dempsey for Fleetwood. Joey Button very happy with the way he's been performing. The last time Fleetwood were at home, they won 2-0 against Accrington. Madden and Evans, the scorers there. Madden's on the score sheet again today. Cheap free kick given away there, and it's a... Uh, Another opportunity for Fleetwood, who are still doing all the pressing in this second half. Could be a chance here, perhaps Dempsey, Dempsey again, trying to push it through this time to Andrew. Back through to Dempsey, tries his luck. Straight down the keeper's throat there, but they're firing and shooting at all angles, it seems, at the moment. Fleetwood pressing. Oxford containing them a little bit at the moment, but uh, have to be a bit more creative, I think, to try to get something out of the game. Uh, Lewis Coyle for Fleetwood, again, pushing forward. Short ball pushed through, low cross coming in, and it's uh, off the bar. And the warning signs are there for Oxford. They've got to watch themselves and tighten themselves up at the back. Really, they are uh, under the cosh a little bit here. In all matches between the sides, Fleetwood were unbeaten in 10 league meetings, so they've never lost to Oxford. Two draws is uh, the best Oxford have managed to get, but they'll be looking to improve on that this afternoon. Loose ball down the right-hand side uh, was fed in to the far side. Cross coming in. Heads go up, and a superb save there, diving to his left-hand side. I think it's been uh, ruled out, though, for offside, so it wouldn't have counted had it had gone in. But it was a good, good cross, threatening, and a bit brighter, that is, for Oxford. Josh Morris, again, seems to be at the heart of everything for the home side. Fleetwood unbeaten in the last nine home league games, looking to improve on that. Cross comes in, could be a chance, it is a chance, a terrific one. Paddy Madden, of all people, Fleetwood want, would want the ball to go to him, but he was unable to connect to add to his first half strike. Just goes past the post and into, uh, past the goal kick for a goal kick. So uh, still another chance it was, goes begging for the home side. Oxford in possession, in their own half, looking for options. No support though, if they're going to have a shot, it's going to be from distance. It is, and it's a good one. Flashes past the right hand up right there. A good one it was, but uh, just wide. Opportunity to strike, to say the least. Keeper, I think, may well have had it covered. Corner comes in, it's a loose one. Ball eventually finding... Paul Coots it is this time, his cross coming in from the right-hand side, could be a free header, it is, and it's another goal for the home side, Peter Clark, great move down the right-hand side, deep cross coming in, Peter Clark rose above the defenders, and really it had been coming. Good chance, falling through to Fleetwood, nothing more than they deserve, low cross coming in from the right-hand side, Good header, rose above the defenders. The keeper was in the wrong position. And that is it. And that's the full-time whistle. Finishes Fleetwood 2, Oxford United 1. Town's unbeaten run at home continues. <laughs>